This is an image from Justice League that showed up a couple days ago that shows a cut scene that features Ryan Choi. And if you don't believe me, it was confirmed by the man himself. If you don't know who Ryan Choi is, he becomes the fourth Adam in the books. Which is why I'm doing this stupid intro. <laughs> What's happening, film friends? Dave the Film Junkie here. So this is a little heartbreaking. That's right. Yeah. Look at it right there. <laughs> Apparently that's Ryan Choi. Um, and we already knew that he was uh, in this little universe because we saw this little screenshot of his name on a computer screen. And it was kind of like, oh my god, there it is. Easter egg. But there's the guy himself! Now, he probably didn't have a huge role in the movie. It was probably like similar to like Jenna Malone's character in, in Batman or Superman. But my god. <laughs> this movie was seriously opening all kinds of doors to this universe. And not like, you know, all crazy like and just in your face to set up a bunch of sequels like certain fucking franchises out there. And where did this image come from? Apparently it came from like a Justice League issue of uh, Entertainment Weekly. Because I was even wondering myself, I was like, where the hell did this come from? But apparently it came from this issue right here, which is just funny because, you know, there was so much buildup for Justice League, so much buildup, and we saw so many shots from Entertainment Weekly, from, you know, the various magazines, and then just a lot of those shots didn't end up in the movie, and the whole tone shifted, and then it's just, it just boggles my mind when it's like you have all this already going into this movie, why the f Ugh. Because you don't like this man? Because the ladies like him? Because he has a unique style? I just don't get it. When I see stuff like that, I just, when I think about it, I just don't, I, I just really don't understand that. I mean, it, and it's fine. I mean, and I even tweeted it out the other day, like, you know, when these, these big voices, when they cannot stop talking about Zack Snyder, I just go, it's because they secretly want to fuck him. But back to the whole Troy thing, uh, I mean, could you imagine? I, I honestly think that they would have set it up for the Atom to appear in the Cyborg movie. And that would have been fantastic because, well, let's face it, Silas was going to be a goner in Justice League, you know? That's just what was going to happen. He was going to be offed. And just to have Choi to be there, to be right there to help Vic, I mean... Ah! But whatever, guys, it's fine. Uh, if you want to see this image up close, I'll have it on my site. First thing down below... Go check it out if you haven't looked at it in detail already. Yeah, uh, don't get, yeah, it's just, it's just what happens, guys. He's fine. Ah, fine. I mean, I, I mean, I don't talk about, I, the, you know, Snyder Cut as much as I did. But when you get little stuff like this and you go, oh, what could have been? Until it wasn't. Anyways, guys, let me know your thoughts about it down below. Hit that like, thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to my channel, visit filmjunkie.com for my stuff. And of course, uh, follow me on the Twitter, the Facebook. And then, uh, yeah, I got shirts in the closet and stickers. Go get them. They're fun. All right, guys. Talk to you later.